Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley Pickin from Club Systems International and today's video is all about creating a new custom user role. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log into your Club V1 account and locate the settings tab in the drop down by clicking the cog top right of Club V1. When in the settings area, you'll find a tab on the left hand side called users and permissions. This is the area where we will create the new user role and then create a user and assign them to that new role. Under the user roles, you can see we've got the generic system made user roles, such as system admin, golf user, and so on. And underneath, we've got custom user roles that I've created in the past, such as course manager, team manager, and chef. To create a new user role, if we click the plus button, this will bring up an area where we can create the role. So what we need to do first is name the new user role. So in this scenario, I've got somebody at my golf club that is going to take charge of looking after my club website and also look after the newsletter and mailings that go out to the members. So I would like to create a role that allows that person to access that element of Club V1 only. So in this scenario, I'm going to call this role Club Site Manager. Now, on the left hand side, you've got the permissions and on the right, you've got the tick box, which allows you then to grant that permission to that, that role. So along the top, you can see it's broken down into different aspects of the software. So if we go into club, you can see the first one is manage club sites. So I'm going to allow this role access to that. I'm then going to go to the communications tab and allow mailing and newsletters. Once we're happy with each permission, we can then scroll down to the bottom and click save. Once the page is refreshed and you scroll down to the bottom, you'll now see there is a new role called Club Site Manager. If you need to go back in and change any permissions within the role, you can click the little pencil button next to the name and add or take away any permissions. Okay, so now we've created the role, we now need to create a new user and assign them to that role. So next to users, if we can click add new user, this will then bring up the fields that are required to create that user. So the first thing it's asking for is user role. So in this scenario, we're gonna drop it down to club site manager, user filter, so we're gonna to go to all members. Obviously newsletter wise, I'd like them to be able to contact all members. We need to give them a username. So in this scenario, we're gonna go with club site manager and picking golfclub.com. Give them a password. And just for today, we're gonna to use my name. So if we save that. Okay, so you can now see under users, the login that we have just created has now appeared club site manager at pickinggolfclub.com and the user role type is club site manager. So when that person now logs into club v1, all that they will be able to see is club site and anything to do with the communications, for example, newsletter and mailing. Let's test it out. So I'm just going to log out of my club v1. And we're going to log in as club site manager at picking golf club. Okay, so if we have a look along the top now, you can see that this Club V1 user role has more of a restricted view of Club V1 than the previous login, which was a system admin account. So along the top now, we have people, communication, T-sheet and club site. So this person now can go into communications, they can send out a mail shot, they can look after the newsletters. They can also go into the club site area they can amend, add, delete any website pages, and change the menu settings, etc. If I try and go into T-Sheet, you can see that the permission is denied. And also within the people drop down, this is just another shortcut to the mailing aspect of Club V1. 
So user roles and custom user roles are a great way of granting permission to people that may not need full access to Club V1. Um, you may want to hide financial information to somebody that is just looking after your website. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial video informative and you can use user roles to your advantage in the future. Um, take care and we'll see you again soon.